even the narrator came back to pay respects. And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light. And they're ready, they come back. The they come back. And they're ready to hit the... I and salute so, you. yeah. <laughs> one of the many, the prince himself. You, you was a real one. <laughs> a real ass nigga. <laughs> and yes, I got approval to say that word. <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right. The video we're about to check is going to be near and dear to a lot of us. Oh, we're about right. to check out the top 10 iconic Dragon Ball moments of all time. Mm. Rest in peace to Toriyama. Akira. Akira hey, Toriyama. Ross, how you going to you gonna, uh, get into the reaction? I I just had I had a mental lapse. I got you, bro. Uh, but, we, uh, all, we all get there, bro. We uh, you know it's it was saddening news to find that out that he recently passed away, but he literally made one of the greatest animes of all time, and he created our childhood memories. You know, yeah. we all grew up watching. You know, not all of us, but most of us grew up watching Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and even if you didn't you knew the references you knew what people were talking about when they brought it up how many of us drew goku reaching super saiyan one and two and three as a kid you know what i'm saying like how many of us remember when gohan went super saiyan two for the first time or or yeah. watching the boo saga and and all these great moments man it's 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 one of those things where you you want to be able to, to cherish <clears throat> those moments and and cherish the times you have watching this anime and and it was fantastic so it only made sense to check out the top 10 iconic dragon ball moments and and, and 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 even though um i wasn't able to finish throughout like consistently just sitting there throughout the whole series uh mm -hmm. majority of what i watched bro like i mean had me drawing the swole dudes on a sheet of paper at school i'm supposed to be focusing mm -hmm. and he was sitting there drawing all the little crazy hair and all that i think somebody had showed me how to draw that too and mm -hmm. uh but yeah bro it just brought a lot of people together you know what yeah I'm saying? For so sure. rest in peace to him uh prayers to the family and everyone man we lost a great one lost yeah, a man. legend and yeah. um it's dope what we can do now is just carry on uh, mm -hmm. the legacy you know what i'm saying carry it on to the kids allow them to be able to see what we grew up watching and just keep that thing rolling so yeah all right let's check this out should be a good one man tsunami Welcome boy to watch mojo Bro. and today we're counting down Take me back. for the most memorable scenes and moments from the dragon ball All franchise the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, took it. The Boy, took passing it of Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama has been a devastating blow to the anime, manga, and video game communities. For sure. His impact on these mediums cannot be overstated, and without him, anime may not have the worldwide appeal it does to this day. Facts. From Facts. Dragon Ball to Dragon Quest, Dr. Slump to Chrono Trigger, his works will live on in the hearts of fans for eternity. Thank <clears> you, Akira Toriyama. Rest in peace. Toriyama, man. Okay, y'all. Let's keep Number it together, 10, man. Goku defeats King mm -hmm. Piccolo. Dragon Ball. I will never stop until I've defeated you. Arguably the strongest foe that Goku faces as a child is King Piccolo. Yep. The vile mm -hmm. Namekian battles the young fighter as his previous opponent, Tian Shenhan, watches. I have you now! Bring back However, after memories. Goku yeah, proves for sure. surprisingly strong, Piccolo resorts to taking Tien hostage. This allows him to break or injure nearly all of Goku's <clears throat> limbs. We say nearly because Goku's right arm we'll remains see. unharmed. Yep. King Piccolo is confident in his victory, but Goku manages to propel himself using a Kamehameha to punch straight through his opponents. It's time for your terror to end! <laughs> What came in with the one arm? Oh, yeah. Yep. He saw that. He saw that beast behind him. Is this a brutal and creative finish? Mm -hmm. But this moment also marks the birth of Goku's rival and later ally, 
Piccolo Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Number 9, Father Son Kamehameha, uh. Dragon Ball Z. Speaking of finishing moves, DBZ has its fair share of memorable ones uh, too. Yeah, this is now a you one die! Oh, the Cell Saga boy. This is so cool, bro. <laughs> in the finale of the Father Cell Son. Saga, Gohan is engaged in a beam struggle against Cell. So the cool, green bro. monstrosity is stronger than ever after his resurrection, and Gohan can only use one arm. However, with some coaching from his late papa Goku, yeah. Gohan delivers a Kamehameha so cool, that overcomes bro. Cell and vaporizes him for good. Let it out, Gohan! Let it out! Yep. It was one of, that was one of them chill moments, bro. Bro, that was that, that was so one of them like chill, inducing, bro. yeah, bro. Just getting oh the chills from God. that moment, man. Like easily, easily one of the best moments in Dragon Ball history, dog. Thanks, bro. Just ah, oh, man, Chef's kiss, <laughs> as the kids say. Anytime multiple characters do a Kamehameha is cool, but the fact that one of them is a ghost. And it's down to defeat Big Bad as bad as Cell ensured that fans would never forget it. Now you're dead! Yep. Yep. Look at all you got. It oh, left good. us hungry for the, more. I, the iconic yell. The horse, in mm -hmm. fact. Number eight, Goku's goodbye. Yep. Dragon Ball oh, GT. Yeah. Look, GT gets a lot of flack. But we'll look at <laughs> this. It knew how to do an ending. I have more crazy relatives than I'll ever know what to do with. And they're all heroes. In the future, after all the mm -hmm. other Dragon Warriors or Z Fighters have passed on, we see Goku's granddaughter Pan at a tournament. She spots her grandfather in the crowd. And while she loses him, we follow Goku as flashbacks from throughout the Dragon Ball franchise play. Grandpa? Let me through, please. <laughs> I know there were some moments that and a GT. lot of people didn't like GT, but mm -hmm. there were some cool moments. I ain't gonna hold you. There mm -hmm. was some dope ass moments from GT. Him turning Super Saiyan 4, him and Vegeta turning Super Saiyan 4. Oh, Chef's yeah. kiss. Oh, him fight. I think he fought Super Android 17. Like, oh, bro, this, oh, oh I was here for it. A lot Fighting of the moments. Dragon Balls. Oh, bro, come on. I was here for it. I was here for it. After seeing how far we've come, the narrator assures us that should the world need narrator. him again, Goku will return. The mm. dub even has Goku signing off himself as he flies away on Nimbus, power pole in hand. The franchise has come full circle. Mm. While we did meet again, we couldn't hope for a more fitting ending than this one. Till we meet again, guys! <laughs> Ah, Number that's... seven, the first Kamehameha, mm. Dragon Ball. In the annals of anime attacks, the Kamehameha yep. is among the most iconic, He's which is why its debut you all the way back in Dragon Ball remains close to fans' hearts. <laughs> the company call on Master Roshi to put out a like, fire what? on Fire Mountain. Now watch this, it's the Master's Kamehameha wave! While the old man appears doddering and incapable at first, Roshi soon bulks Good up man. and lets Roshi. loose his famous beam attack, putting the, out the, the fire original and purse. destroying the mountain. Mm -hmm. Goku is quite impressed and decides to try it out for himself, managing it easily. And the rest is history. Me -ha, me -ha! <laughs> Number hmm. six, Trunks slices Frieza. I say this was the coolest shit as a kid, bro. When this nigga Frieza came back, oh man, they gotta deal with this nigga again. Yeah. He got cybernetic parts and shit. And when Trunks pulled up and handled business, I, I was like, who is this? This nigga pulled up with a cool, got the drip on, start throwing the game signs. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Who? Who is Bro, he became my favorite, like, right then and there, bro. I was like, oh, this nigga, pack this nigga Frieza up in about, when one episode, anybody getting packed up in one episode back then? Oh, that, you, that meant you, something, bro, because they took something, bro. 10 episodes to tell one story or one fight. That nigga said, I'm not here to waste time, Frieza. Get the fuck up out of here. Slice that nigga up into bits and sent him... Just to smithereens back to the underworld, <laughs> bro. That shit was great. Dragon Ball Z. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. 
And I'm not talking about Goku. The introduction of Trunks into the series is among the most impactful <laughs> and memorable <laughs> in the show. Tough, Frieza has arrived on Earth, his dad in tow, and seemingly stronger with his cyborg modifications. But then Trunks shows up, a mysterious youth with a sword. Not only that, but he's Super Saiyan as well. Yeah, that's Excuse me. Is this yours? <laughs> After tanking a massive attack from Frieza, Trunks tosses an overly dramatic shot at the Space Emperor, only to surprise him from behind with his sword. Hey, Frieza! Watching Trunks turn right, the franchise's just, oh, biggest oh. villain to this point into mincemeat yeah, instantly well, made an impression. It also <laughs> made fans <laughs> everywhere <laughs> immediately label him as one of the coolest characters oh, yeah, ever. Number 5. Vegeta's Sacrifice, Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta is a character defined by his pride. Years, After once again turning to evil in his attempt to surpass Goku, Vegeta finally returns to his senses during the battle with Majin Buu. He bids farewell to his son, Trunks, even mm -hmm. knocking him out to prevent him from fighting. Even Piccolo telling Vegeta he'll go to hell isn't enough to deter him. You, on the other hand, have spent your life in pursuit of your own selfish desires. You've caused too much pain. When you die, you will not receive the same reward. Mm -hmm. Oh well, so be it. With That's one so last cool. blast, wow. the Prince of All Saiyans makes one final atonement in death in his attempt to kill Boo. Mm. Sinister, the comment you just made. You see it? Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm not doing it. That's a sinister comment for a sinister individual. If you see it in the chat, you see it in the chat, man. I'm not, no. Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even, even for you, you. Kakarot. <laughs> this may not be the end for Vegeta, but it does mark a major turning point for his character, at last becoming yeah. a Look proper hero. Even and it still didn't kill Boo. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. That I when I was like, okay, well, Boo's dead, right? No, I was like, all right, bro. We're, what Sacrifice for nothing this at this point. This nigga blew himself up and Boo still didn't die. Even the narrator came back to pay respects. And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished <laughs> in a blinding flash of light. The narrator did come, come back. The narrator hit the. I and salute so, you. yeah. <laughs> one of the many, the prince himself. <laughs> you was a real one. <laughs> a real ass nigga. <laughs> and yes, I got approval to say that word. <laughs> For Vegeta. For the sake of his loved ones, his name was Vegeta, Vegeta. Yeah. a proud Saiyan <laughs> prince. Number four, Goku so and Vegeta's love, beam clash. This Dragon is classic Z. too. There are beam struggles, and then there's this. Vegeta and Goku's first battle is loaded with iconic moments, mm -hmm. but this is easily yeah, the one sure. everybody thinks of first. Goku goes all out with Kaioken, which puts his body on the line, yep. managing to overwhelm Vegeta. <laughs> this shouldn't be happening. I don't understand. I am a super elite. Now he sealed his fate. This planet is history. I'll destroy everything. Everything. Do you hear me, Kakarot? Insulted that a Anger. lower class mm -hmm. foe has injured him. Vegeta decides to blow up the planet with his Gallic gun. Mm -hmm. With no other option, Goku fires a Kamehameha to meet it. Gallic gun! Ah! <laughs> oh. oh no! If I knew this was going to happen, I would have eaten more pizza and ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> this is so tough. Yeah, Goku pushes his Kaioken well, even further in to come out on top. In this exchange, at least, the image of their two attacks meeting yeah. is burned into Dragon Ball fans' brains, Just like Vegeta's kiss. anger at Goku. The Kaioken! No, Goku! Time for 
Oh, the, the, the angle, the, the way they drew that up. Oh, my God. This is so Number three, <laughs> Gohan's yep. Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Mm -hmm. oh, Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Went, yo, New transformations there. always make a big splash. Gohan's battle against Cell looks dire as he's thrown against the cyborg Bugman with little preamble. Mm, and when him to Cell unleashes Cell his brood of mm -hmm. Cell Juniors against Gohan's friends, the young fighter can only watch. Please, <laughs> drop your restraints. Protect the life I loved. You have the strength. My scanner sensed it. My Just scan. <laughs> let it go. What is? What you think of that shit? Funny, bro. My scanner sensed you had it in you the, yeah. the whole time. You let, <laughs> you let us die when you could have did it from the beginning. And, and then you once still that didn't shit pack them up. You still didn't back him up. Like you should have. <laughs> An emotional speech from Android 16, hoping yep. to inspire Why Gohan, don't you the takes a dark <laughs> turn as Cell stomps on the cybernetic man's head, killing 16. And here we go. Turns out that was enough to push Gohan over the edge. Yep. I won't watch this anymore! This shit is so tough, bro. Yes. <laughs> that was like, oh, shit! <laughs> With a haunting hey, hello, man. plenty What's of tears, Goku Go Go reaches Super Saiyan 2. Yo. With the crackle of lightning and the drying of... When I say that, that was so the smooth. coolest shit, bro, everybody was talking about that at school. When you saw the lightning and shit, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, did yep. you see that? And everybody was, yeah, I saw that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> And then we have to wait till next week to see yeah, what this next thing week. can do. Find That's out a boy, y'all don't understand, bro. Watching that weekly, like now kids can just go and catch up and watch oh, the whole series. Yeah, bro. It was bro, that shit was so had you anticipating all week. Oh my god, bro. It is. We know that the son has surpassed the father that for the moment tough, at least. Bro. Number two, Ultra Instinct. Yeah. Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> These I watched, I want you to understand, I watched this when they were dropping it into the original language, but they just had the, had they had the yeah, they had the subtitles before they released it in the States uh, mm -hmm. with the, the English dub. So I'm watching it with the subtitles and bro, that shit had me hyped, bro. That shit had me so hyped. This fight. Him turning Ultra Instinct, nigga. I, I felt like a kid again watching the Cell Saga, man, bro. This shit. Oh, my God. That's when, that's when he knew he effed up, bro. Bro, this shit was so fucking cool, bro. That nigga started. I was like, oh, like, no. I'm sorry, what are you doing that moment now, bro? That, like... shit, that shit was cool. Tournaments of Power has yep. plenty of hype moments. But the one that literally broke the internet is yeah. this one. <laughs> Seriously, multiple streaming sites went down. Mm -hmm. Goku's done it, hasn't he? Yup. He's finally achieved it. Yup. Yes. During Goku's fight with Jiren, our so hero cool, is on the cusp of mastering Ultra Instinct, a technique that allows him to dodge attacks effortlessly. It's the whole attacking back part that Goku struggles with. But as Jiren aims to ring Goku out, the Saiyan fighter's boy, power continues dude, to rise, so and he eventually- Crush his theme music. Oh, shit! They did got... have the music on lock, bro. Bro, oh, this, man. The music, the music followed the emotion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, everything was captivating, and it, it, oh. all, it made you Feel everything that was going on. Made you feel like you was in there for real. Facts, bro. Dance Ahead of his hitting time, bro. back with his aura and hair taking on a divinely this shimmering so light. Tough. This is the true power. <laughs> this is complete so in all its majesty. As far as modern Dragon Ball goes, it doesn't get much more hype than this. That's why we have to go back. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make wrong, sure man. to your settings and you said switch what? on notifications. Somebody said you messed with the wrong man. Who goes this Super has to be Saiyan? There, of course. Dragon Ball Z. Of course. When it comes to of anime course. transformations, Super Saiyan is arguably yep. the most iconic of all. Of course. And the debut rocked the Dragon Ball fandom and is still making That's waves. why he said he had to go back. Mm -hmm. Goku and company believe they finally defeated Frieza. If you think that your little friends can escape me, you're sadly mistaken. Frieza was a menace. Yeah, just so for no That's why reason. <laughs> Trunks packing him up in one episode was so shocking. Because this nigga was a menace to the to the Z Warriors, bro. Like everybody was getting packed up. Yep. Everyone. It didn't matter who you was, you was getting packed up. Mm -hmm. That's why this was ah uh, when when he this finally one of them, chill, them chill moments it, too, bro. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? What's happening? <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, wait, whoa, 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 what's happening? Mm -hmm. Taken. Unfortunately, they're wrong. The evil tyrant reappears and kills Krillin. Yeah, this was cold. Yeah. Stop this! Help me! <laughs> what was that? Oh! Yeah, bro. The I was of... shook. I was like, they killed, they killed my nigga Krillin. They, something had to happen for Goku to I go was crazy. Like, All right, bro. All right, now Goku. Pack yeah. this nigga up. Yeah. He's been calling you a monkey ever since you got here, bro. Pack this racist nigga <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> of his best friend sends Goku into a rage so great that his power skyrockets. Couldn't control the weather it, yep. changes and his yep. hair turns golden. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh. Lost it. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Frieza isn't dealing with the average Saiyan warrior anymore, yep. and fans weren't dealing with the average Dragon Ball either. This is peak Dragon Ball. Mm, What's yeah. your fondest Dragon Ball or Akira Toriyama memory? Man, Let us know great, in those comments them, below. Them in the background. It's over 9,000! It's over 9,000! 9, 9, There's no way <laughs> that could be right! Did you enjoy this video? <laughs> Dog, I'm talking about that's what? the infamous, the infamous saying right there, bro. <laughs> Nani, <laughs> the, the classic line, bro. It's over uh, nine thousand. Oh man, bro, that man, this this is why uh, we, to see, bro. we appreciate Akira Toriyama for creating this iconic part of media, and and you know it's it's spawned so many other animes inspired by it, and mm -hmm. given us so many memories that we can always go back and and you know watch and, and reminisce. You feel me? Oh, so no, for sure, this man. is fantastic, bro. And now we can again, like I was saying, I was showing the mm -hmm. kids uh, some of the 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 episodes from the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. you know they was interested in watching it, and uh, you know just just seeing them be able to kind of scroll through it real quick. You know, mm -hmm. they don't have to have the patience that we had back in the day. Yeah. Um, but it's just a beautiful thing to see, man. So again, rest in peace to him, man. Yeah. Um, love the fact that stuff like this brings people together. For sure. And that's For what sure. we're supposed to use our art. That's what we're supposed to use our art and our talent for. To bring us mm -hmm. all together, show love in all forms of ways, man. And it just gets every raw everybody riled up. And for sure. we all love them for the same thing. Yeah, man. So once a piece rest. Oh, I said once a piece. Uh, once again, rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. And uh, this this video was definitely over 9,000 because I love this. Brought me back down memory lane, man. I see so. what you did there, bro. I see, I yeah, see what you for did. sure. But now, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what else we'll be checking out. Next, for keep sure. on supporting this, man. Uh, somebody donated earlier. Appreciate the dono. Was mm -hmm. saying that I uh, usually don't. They said they usually don't get emotional or anything like that. When something happens to famous people or... Uh, when they passed away, but they said this one, the news of Akira legit made them cry. So, um, yeah, yeah, man, we, we, we get it. You know what I'm saying? It's just every time you have a great or someone that you look up to, someone that did something that kind of put a staple in your childhood memory, you're going to have those emotions. So feel what you feel, man. And let's mm -hmm. continue to let the legacy live on. You feel me? Sure. But love you guys. Catch y'all on the next one. Always, like we say, spread love, be love. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston If you got a problem, then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies 
Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me